In this video, we'll do a test for proteins using two chemicals, sodium hydroxide solution and copper sulfate solution. Both of these solutions will be dilute solutions. Our first test sample is sugar solution. And the next test sample is egg whites. That's the egg without the yolk. Okay. We take sodium hydroxide solution, dilute sodium hydroxide solution, and using a dropper, we're going to put a few ml of sodium hydroxide solution in both the test tubes. Great. Now what we're going to do is we'll take the test tube and swirl it about, shake it about a little bit so that all the sodium hydroxide gets mixed up with the egg white. I'm doing this because the egg white is a little stiff and doesn't easily mix with the sodium hydroxide unless it's shaken about, right? And uh, we'll do the same thing with sugar just to make sure this stuff also mixes well. Great. Now we'll take copper sulfate solution. Using the dropper, I'll carefully put in two or three drops of copper sulfate solution into the test tube that contains egg whites. I did two drops. Now here's the third drop. Okay. Don't put too much copper sulfate solution. Great. Now I'll shake it about. The moment I drop the copper sulfate, I'll immediately shake it about vigorously. And watch what happens. Don't you think the color of the liquid in the test tube has changed? Interesting, isn't it? Copper sulfate was blue, but this test tube now looks violet, right? This change in color to violet color happens only in the presence of proteins. Let's try the same thing with sugar solution. We'll take two, three drops of copper sulfate solution and then we'll shake this test tube about. You'll notice that in this scenario, there's no change in color, right? There you go. You can compare all the three solutions and you can check that there is no change in color in the case of the sugar solution. So let's pause for a moment and look at this. We could see that we have violet color with the, the egg white, right? And we could see that we have blue color with the sugar solution, right? And the copper sulfate solution, of course, is blue. You'll notice that the sugar solution just looks like a diluted version of the copper sulfate solution, whereas this is a totally new color. So the egg white tested positive for protein, whereas the sugar solution tested negative for protein. That's it. I'd encourage you to go and try this out in your school lab. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching.